Welcome little scientists. It's Miss Gisa. Today we're going to learn about a new life cycle. If you haven't already watched all of my other life cycle lessons, be sure to do so. Today we're learning about the life cycle of a... That's right, of an octopus. And the story I have for you is called Gentle Giant Octopus. It's written by Karen Wallace and illustrated by Mike Bostock. Be sure to listen to the end of the story so you can join me in an activity. There are more than 150 different kinds of octopuses. The giant octopus is the biggest. The tentacles of the largest one ever found were an amazing 15 and three quarters feet long. Even though they are so huge, giant octopuses do not attack humans. They live in coastal waters in the North Pacific Ocean and feed mainly on crabs, clams, and sea snails. Female giant octopuses lay eggs only once in their lives. They are believed to eat little or nothing after mating. Once their eggs have hatched, female octopuses die. A gentle giant octopus jets through the shadows. She's huge, like a spaceship. Her eyes glow in the water. Long tentacles fly like ribbons behind her. Silver-backed fish scatter before her. A wandering mother octopus moves through the water. Inside her body, she carries her eggs. She looks for a den that is safe and well hidden, for a crack in a rock face or a hole under a stone. When octopuses need to move quickly, they jet backward by sucking the seawater. By sucking in seawater, and pumping it out through a funnel-like siphon. An octopus sinks like a huge rubber flower. Sand muddies the water as she lands on the seabed. Octopuses use their tentacles like fingers to sense things. They use the suckers on their tentacles to grip things. Octopus eyes turn frontward and backward her tentacle sends a crab in the water. A tentacle searches, it stretches, and touches. Unlucky octopus. Crab claws have sharp edges. They nip at the tentacle. The octopus pulls back. The crab scuttles sideways and escapes in the sand. A mother giant octopus slides over the seabed. Her body stretches like taffy over the stones. Her skin ripples like seaweed. She's black as the sea kelp. The goggle-eyed octopus feels her way forward. Usually, the giant octopus is reddish brown, but when it's hunting or hiding, it can change to become very dark or very pale within seconds. But under a boulder, a wolf eel is waiting. His mottled gray face darts from the shadows. His teeth strike like daggers. He rips off a tentacle, then sinks like a nightmare deep into his den. Octopuses have eight tentacles. A healthy octopus can regrow its tentacles if they are damaged. A frightened giant octopus squirts ink at the wolf eel. She shoots back from the boulder, back over the seabed. She's pumping and sucking the sea from her body. If an octopus is attacked, it will squirt out a cloud of inky liquid to hide its escape. A quivering giant octopus rests on a boulder. Underneath is a cave that is easily guarded. She squeezes inside. She drags pebbles around her. Her search for a home is over at last. Octopuses are about as clever as cats. And like cats, they're very curious. Octopuses don't have any bones and they can squeeze through the tiniest of holes. 
A mother giant octopus lays eggs in her cave den. They hang from the roof like grapes on a string. She guards them from crabs and nibbling fishes. While her babies are growing, she never eats and never rests. A female giant octopus will lay as many as 60,000 tiny eggs. After five months, her babies swim from their egg sacs. They squirm and they wiggle, they jet through the shadows. They're sucking and pumping the sea from their bodies. Lots of other animals like to eat baby octopuses, so only two or three out of every brood live to become adults. A mother giant octopus rests in her cave den. She watches her baby swim up through the water. The gentle giant octopus shrinks in the shadows. Her life is over as their lives begin. Are you ready to do an octopus activity with me? Let's go. Okay, little scientists, let's take out your octopus anatomy sheet. We are going to go over the parts of an octopus. All of the answers are at the bottom, so you can um, go ahead and know how to spell the words. If it's hard for you to write because you're still too little, you can have an adult write these down on strips of paper for you, and then you can match them to the appropriate part. Another thing you can do, adults, is um, run this off on some cardstock and put it on a tray with the different labels and you can put them on a shelf where kids can take them out during center time and practice doing this over um, several weeks. So let's get started. Who can find the eye? Take a look. Do you see the eye? Yes, right here. And then you can also color this when you're finished. There is the eye. And after I use a word, I like to just go ahead and cross it off so I know that I've used it. All right, what about, what about these little things that octopus have under their tentacles? Yeah, those are called the suckers. So let's write that down here. Okay, and then the tentacles, you can see an octopus has all these tentacles. How many do they have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's why it's called octopus, because octa means eight. So you can either call those the tentacles or the arms. I like to call them the tentacles. All right, what do we have next? The head right here is called the mantle. And then do you see this little tube here? That is the siphon. The siphon is how the octopus squeezes out all the water. It comes out of the siphon. It's kind of like a funnel, and that's at the front of their mantle. So the siphon also helps the octopus to move. Now, behind the siphon, really within the siphon, if you go in through the siphon and behind it, is the aperture. But really, I'm going to write anus because that's really what it is. Um, and then finally the web. And the web, it's the umbrella-like membrane between the arms that help the octopus to hold its food, to hold what it's eating like crabs or shrimp, um, sometimes other fish. 
it holds it while it eats it with the web. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.